back to gaming, guys. Isn't this a um, gaming platform running on the Tron network, the fastest blockchain in the world right now? Goldman Sachs is talking about this type of stuff. Let's check this video out and see what they got to say. Okay, so important key information there. Video gaming is currently a $120 billion industry and is projected to reach $200 billion by 2025. So it's pretty much going to double within the next uh, six years. Gaming is divided into three categories, PC, mobile, and consoles. In comparison to PCs, consoles are affordable for being a specifically game-designed device. In comparison to mobile, console offers vast immersiveness because of much larger size screens. We're expecting a very fast growth of console, going from $45 billion in market size to $73 billion by 2025. This is driven by three elements, one being console has been the center of gaming content creation. Over the last 40 years of history, console has given birth to many iconic game brands such as Mario, Pokemon, Resident Evil, and we think this trend is likely to continue. The second element... So... Gold, this is Goldman Sachs talking about how their research is showing them that the gaming industry is going to double in size within the next six years. Okay, so again, when you start hearing the bigwigs talk about gaming, I mean, come on now. Goldman Sachs is like an investment firm. Do you really think they give a crap about, you know... The kid from Grandma's Boy out there playing playing video games in his grandma's basement? Can you believe that? They actually do. Crazy. Is business model evolution. More than half of the console software industry uh, still relies on people buying CD discs at retailers. But as download sales and in-game item sales grow, we think there's a potential room for growth through new business models and new revenue streams. You know what? I didn't even think of that, guys. They're actually, people do actually still, because I, I don't play games anymore, but you actually have to go out and buy video games still in CD form for the most part. We don't do that with music anymore. I think, personally, that's going to go away eventually, sooner rather than later. Um, and I think mobile gaming, in my opinion, mobile gaming is going to pick up big time because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we actually have, they have projectors that you could hook up to your phone, <laughs> literally uh, Bluetooth to your projector on your phone, and you could stream it on the TV, and then you could play whatever video game on that particular TV. Um, they also sell remotes for your phone, which um, you could use on a drone, for example. I'm not sure if they have remotes for video games yet, but I'm sure that's coming out, guys. That, in my opinion, is the future. Not CDs, for the most part. The third reason is we think consoles will break away from the hardware cycles. Previously, when new hardware came out, there was no compatibility of old software. But going forward, with hardware connected to the internet, the upgrades could be more gradual. And we believe the console gaming industry can grow without losing users because of cycles. We think energy efficiency and battery efficiency is going to allow us to eventually take hardcore games out of our homes on a portable device. And on higher resolution screens and virtual reality is going to make us feel as if we are living inside the game. New ways of gameplay are almost here and this is likely to start from the center of video games which is the consoles. So, very interesting video right there from a top investment firm. Very interesting. Now, I wanted to get into this because I thought this was... Th this really blows my mind. Again, guys, I'm out of the loop on the, on, the, on, the, um, on the video games. I mean, I've been, you know, 
an old man now <laughs> for for too many years. I haven't played video games. To be honest with you, I always sucked at video games. There was a couple of games I was good at, but I, I never really advanced in video gaming. Like, um, like these kids these days that are like five, six years old killing people in these games like crazy. But check this out, guys. The rise of esport, esports as a spectator phenomenon. Look at this, guys. I mean, this is a like an auditorium. <laughs> you have your gamers here, more another team over here, and then a screen here. I mean, and, and there's people like bugging out, like yeah, kill them, yeah. I mean, guys, I don't know if this is scary or this is good or what, but. If people are into it like that, what makes anybody think this isn't going to be big? I mean, let's really think about it again as investors. The internet and decentralization and technology is only getting bigger. Only getting bigger and better. You don't think gaming is going to make get even bigger and better along with the internet and technology? I mean, come on. As technology gets better, gaming gets better. Every year, I remember... One game I was decent at was Madden. I'd always play Madden uh, football. And I would get Madden every year for PS2 or PS3. And, um, you know, I'd get better as time goes on. Um, but that's not what I'm trying to get at. Every year they came out with a new Madden, it was like, you know, you'd always be like, oh, damn, yo, I feel like I'm watching the actual game on TV. That's how sick the technology is now. But, I mean, I'm sure it's 25 times better now. I haven't bought Madden in years, but, you know, the point is, again, like I said, they make it better and better and better every single year. And if one day, you're going to start seeing these guys picking their nose on the field. And, you know, you're already starting to see sweat drip down their face. And, and I mean, the graphics are just unbelievable. It really is. So I'm not really going to get into this article because it's like a freaking Stephen King novel. But I really just wanted to show that picture because it kind of blew my mind, guys. And I wanted you guys to see this because if you don't know this and you're an outsider kind of like myself from gaming, this should be, you know, um, this should this should show us some shock value for you because there there's people out there that are really, really into gaming. I mean, really, really into it. Again, I am not, but there are people out there that are, and I don't think... They're going to stop anytime soon. All of these kids that have grown up with controllers in their hands, they, you know, these are the games of the future for the most part. They know how to play them better than doing anything. You don't need to be a barbarian person anymore like we've had in the medieval times um, to, to thrive in life. You could look like Vitalik and look like you, you know, haven't eaten in like six days. Like you're on a freaking you know, a water fast for like the rest of your life. You know, you, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, none of that matters anymore, guys. I mean, you could be who you want to be and do what you want to do in this world and you could still thrive at it. Um, now, I don't know if these people are making any money or not or whatever, but I mean, just like online poker helped out the poker industry, you know, newer technologies and advancements are going to continue to help out esports and to help out video games in general guys so trying to tie this back into igg here it's a intergalactic gaming platform that runs on the tron network and they show everything here for the most part guys esports has grown from humble beginnings where prize pools were a few hundred dollars to an industry that now generates millions in revenue and shows not no signs of slowing down. Global revenue um, by 2021 should be at 16, wow, 1.65 million. No, wait, that's wrong. That's I think that's billion. I'm sorry. Brand investment 1.385 billion, according to IGG. Um, and they should grow their audience. You know, th these numbers are similar to what Goldman Sachs was over there saying that they should kind of double for the most part. If you look from here to here, uh, esports is breaking down geographical barriers in a way that traditional sports have often struggled with particularly due to its online nature we believe it has the potential to surpass traditional sports in the not too distant future despite the significant progress 
made with an esports, there are certain hindering factors that are preventing the industry's potential from being realized. Our web-based platform, we utilize blockchain technology and smart contracts to change the way we interact with each other in the esports realm. IGG Tokens TRC20 will play a pivotal role in our ecosystem and have significant use cases for gamers, teams, brands, and the wider public. So guys, this is one of those one of those coins that's going to be big and I've been telling you that um, we did have a big dump on here because we had the one-to-one -one airdrop given around uh, this date right here. Of course, it was going to dump. Like I said, guys, people want to, you know, they want to buy lower. And that's what's going on right here. However, for the rest of the deck, the decks, it's looking good. Seed is at eight tokens for the most part, which is a no-brainer right there, guys. But again, back to IGG, this is a, um, you know, it's bottoming out right now. And it's never a bad time to grab a little IGG. I have a nice little IGG bag that I plan on holding for a long time because, guys, this right here tells me that these kids, they ain't going nowhere. They're going to continue to do this, guys. And if Goldman Sachs is telling me that they're interested in it, I'm interested in it. So, with that being said, like, subscribe, turn that bell notification. Holla at you, boy. Peace.